expect your watch to perform at any given second. You expect your watch to be there when you need it, at the right time, all the time, no matter what. And that's exactly what Inox is all about. And that's exactly what we want to express with this new exclusive Inox Naimaka collaboration. This collaboration underlines the uncompromising level of resistance and versatility of the Inox collection. It also reinforces the idea that an Inox watch is ready for an everyday adventure, which is our brand promise. Neumark is the name of the northernmost village in Sweden. Uh, it only has one inhabitant, and in the wintertime it gets as cold as minus 43 degrees, which is pretty cold. It's also the name of our company, and we specialize in making bracelets made from parachute cord. Um, we use American-made, genuine, military-grade parachute cord for our bracelets, and the idea is that you can unravel them and you can use the paracord in an emergency situation. Um, nylon was invented just prior to World War II and came to replace silk. This meant that suspension lines from parachutes were now made from this very new material. And paratroopers found that they could use the paracord in different survival situations. And after the war has since been used from everything from using it as a fishing line but it has also been used in space for an improvised repair of the Hubble telescope. For the past year and a half, uh, Victor Knox and Naimaka have been collaborating on making a very special watch strap for the Inox watch. The goal we had when designing this strap was to find a way to complement the complete sense of quality you experience when you wear the Inox watch. The paracord that we use is made in the States into a military specification called the MIL-C5040 Type 3 paracord. It's made up of a current mantle structure, which means you have a sheath, and then on the inside you have strands running, also known as guts. If you cut open the paracord, you can take these out and use them for different uh, tasks. One of these seven inner strands will have a color coding and this color coding will indicate who has manufactured the paracord. This is for military purposes so they can trace back who has manufactured that specific cord. Um, with paracord, you can use for all types of survival situations or just solving tr trivial tasks. This could include uh, replacing broken shoelaces or uh, building shelter, a raft maybe, or if you want to make a fire, you could use it for your bow in a bow drill. You could take out the inner cords and use them as fishing line. You could use it as sewing line, dental floss, or uh, if you had the time and skill, you could even use it to make a net. Yeah, so what I'm gonna try and do is use the pair cord within the Naimaka watch strap and see if I can use it for some improvised fishing. Um, and this by taking it apart and using the inner cords as fishing line. Uh, so I need to find a stick that could be uh, suitable. Um, and this will work perfectly. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is just taking apart the uh, watch strap so I can get access to the paracord. And you see on the underside that these are two melted parts and I just push it through like this. That way it starts unraveling and I can just do the rest by hand. Each of these woven parts contain about 85 centimeters of parachute cord. Uh, the parachute cord itself then contains seven inner strands that you can take out and use separately. And this is what we're gonna use as fishing line in this case. So now we have about this much cord. But first, I need to cut off this end to free the, um, the cords from the inside. So here we have the inner cords. We have seven of them. They're also called the guts. And we're gonna use one or two of these to uh, create our fishing line uh, by taking them apart further. 
to get the smallest possible strand. So we get a fishing line that is thin and almost invisible. So this is what we're gonna use. And now I'm tying them together to create one really thin cord that I'm gonna use as fishing line. And my scissors like this. Perfect. So I have my fishing line and I'm gonna tie it on to the fishing rod because we have a lot of wind and if I don't it might just fly away and I doubt I'll be able to find it. So I'm gonna use my knife and I'm gonna make a small groove. So now we're finished with the uh, fishing line. Now we need a hook and I'm just gonna use a small piece of wood like this to make a sharp stick on both ends. So five minutes of work later, you'll end up with something like this. And the idea is that the fish will take this, going in like this, and it will end up on the side once you start pulling. So now we have the improvised hook on, and we need uh, to use something as a weight, and we're gonna use the, uh, the hook from the um, watch strap as a weight. So we're just gonna tie this on. Okay, everything is done. Now let's go fishing. So today we're in the forest and we're going to try to start a fire using the Victorinox Inox Nymaka watch strap. So we're just going to find some material. So I'm looking for some dry wood that I can use for the bow drill and I'm looking for something that is preferably dead and hasn't been touching the ground. I think this piece will do. So what I need to do now is cut this piece of wood uh, so I get about this much, and I'm gonna use my Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knife. There we go. So now that's done, uh, we're gonna split this piece of wood using the knife and this. Perfect. So now our base is ready, and I want to find three really simple pieces of wood. Um, and the next step is getting the string for our bow. We're gonna take off the Inox watch and disassemble the Naimaka watch strap. And all we have to do is take the tool and push through one of the molten ends. And that will allow us to start unraveling the bracelet, like so. And now we can start unraveling. So we just finished unraveling the Naimaka watch strap. And here is the cord that we're gonna use for our bow as a string. So now we're just finishing pulling through the paracord and we're just gonna put a simple knot in the cord so it doesn't go back through. There we go. So we just finished the bow and now we're gonna prepare the spindle. So now I wanna make it sharp on one side and sort of flat on the other side. So now we have, have all the pieces ready. We have the bow, we have the spindle. We're gonna put them together like this. And they go into our hearthboard that we made earlier. And we have a socket that will go onto the top of the spindle. And now we're ready to start making the fire. So now we're getting smoke. That means we have a good amount of friction. Uh, so it's time for us to now make a cut in the board so we can gather up all this and create an ember. There we go. And now when the uh, spindle spins, it will deposit the ember under here, so we need to catch the ember with this. 
and I'm going to start off slow and I'm going to pick up speed and add more pressure. And now, if he continues smoking, that means you have an ember. And now I'm gonna put it inside the prepared fire pit that we made. Here, in one piece if possible, like this. Now we're just gonna cover it with some leaves and give it some air. Et voila! Now we have a fire going using only the Inox 9 Maca watch strap and a Swiss Army knife. Now we just need to get some sausages. Ah.